Hey folks, welcome to Mark Wagner Pool at West Des Moines Valley High School. We are here for the Valley versus Boone girls swim team, swim meet, swim meet. This was a, well this is a COVID meet. Uh, Boone was without a, uh, a meet, they lost a meet or two, Valley lost a meet or two, and so uh, uh, Coach Mann from Boone called uh, Coach DeBoof and said, hey, let's put something together. So they found an open spot on the calendar, which is today. And uh, here we are, Boone versus Valley Swim Meet. We will be starting right about five o'clock. Uh, my name is Dave Mabel. I'm here with uh, Randy Nielsen, who is becoming one of the greatest swim cameramen in central Iowa for sure. <laughs> Um, as we work on our, uh, our audio here, getting it right. But um, uh, Randy Nielsen on camera, Dave Mabel on mic, and uh, Peter Tarpey is getting us set up on our streaming. So we are getting rolling. We are, <laughs> we are rolling. Uh, we are going to uh, send you to break. We're going to thank some of our sponsors who make this possible. We are able to bring this to you live and free thanks to the, uh, the list of people that are going to be following these commercials, like uh, Schottenkirk, um, Mid-American, uh, Fireplace, Fairway, Iowa Corn, and uh, so we want to thank them. So please stick around through these, uh, our break, and we will be back in just a couple of minutes. Focus, to define what is most important and commit yourself fully. It's why at Fairway, only the best meat makes the cut. Our fresh fish is full of flavor, and our produce is picked with incredible care. It's why we have fewer aisles, greater savings, and the most personal service. At Fairway, our focus is and always will be giving you the best in meat and grocery. Save thousands now at Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee. 15% off 2020 Equinox and 2020 Trax or 0% for 84 months. 15% off 2020 Sonic and 2020 Spark. WaukeeChevy.com. 12% off 2020 Blazer. 10% off 2020 Colorado. Up to $15,000 off new 2020 Suburban. We're in a position to give you more for your trade. As always, we're a partner you can count on. Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee. WaukeeChevy.com. 
At MidAmerican Energy, we put our energy into making communities stronger, safer, and ready for the future. We support STEM education and community safety, special events, and economic development activities. We energize our cities and towns just like we have for decades, all to help make your community the place where you want to build your business, your legacy, and your life. It's another way we're obsessively, relentlessly at your service. In Iowa, we grow corn, but to us, corn is more than a cash crop. It's part of who we are. Corn supports our livestock, helping our animals thrive. Corn fuels us. Ethanol powers our state as we push towards a clean, burning future. Corn nourishes us. It gives us an abundance of good food that nourishes our families, helps our student athletes grow stronger. In Iowa, we grow corn. But the truth is, corn grows Iowa. Central Bank opened its doors in 1877 and has been proud to call Iowa home ever since. For more than a century, our family-owned business has worked hand-in-hand -hand with friends and neighbors across the state to make their dreams a reality. Come visit us at our new location on Hickman and Waukee and see how Central Bank can make it happen for you. Iowans know that winter means snow, ice, and freezing temps. Severe weather can make the roads downright dangerous. Truck Equipment Incorporated has the toughest work equipment that can stand up to the harshest conditions. Look for Western brand snow plows, quality you can count on. Buy new or utilize our repair services. We'll order new parts for same day pickup or delivery. And now you can shop from home with our virtual showroom. Go to truckequipment.com today. Welcome back to Mark Wagner Pool at Valley High School in West Des Moines. Again, we are here for the Valley Tigers versus the Boone Trepidors? Toreadors. Sorry about that, Boone. The Bullfighters, yes. The Bullfighters of Boone. Uh, <clears throat> all right, so I have something super exciting for all of you, and that is schedule. Uh, yep, so first let's look at the swim schedule for Valley, and then we've got a little bit more because I saw the Valley Potty Potty Pages? Yeah. Shoot, is that what they call it? Potty Pages. So I, I took a picture of the athletic schedule for the uh, coming week, and we'll talk about that. But first up, we've got the swim schedule, which you are probably most likely interested in because that's what you're watching. Uh, today we've got Boone. Uh, next week, Valley will be at Johnston at uh, Summit Middle School. Johnston Dragons taking on the Johnston Dragons. And uh, the week after that, so they'll have a, exactly a week off. That's Next week is Tuesday. And then the following Tuesday on the 13th, Valley hosts Dowling Catholic here at Mark Wagner Pool. Now, that may be construed or typically senior night, but uh, the girls are doing senior night tonight, so we may have that on on uh, may have that on the air as, as they announce all of the senior girls. No cake. There's no. We don't get cake and cookies that uh, we became accustomed to. Gosh darn COVID. Uh, okay, so Dowling at Valley, October 13th, and then October 22nd is the conference meet at Johnston. And I believe, uh, I'm looking at the other schedule, this doesn't have it, but I believe the 20th is the dive conference meet. And I think that's an 11 dive meet. And uh, I'm not 100% sure on that, but October 20th, Johnston, dive conference meet, 22nd, the swim conference meet at Johnston. Uh, districts where the state roster will be determined. The diving is on November 5th, and the swimming is on November 7th, and the location is as of yet to be determined. Uh, I know I know that uh, we've been at 
Johnston before. Southeast Polk has hosted that before. Valley has hosted that before. Um, and uh, I believe Valley has gone to Marshalltown for that meet before. But anyway, that's to be determined. Uh, then, of course, November 13th and 14th is the state swim and dive at Marshalltown uh, YMCA. And we will be covering the swimming portion of that on November 14th live from the Marshalltown YMCA. So that is the swimming schedule. Volleyball. Um, Southeast Polk at Valley tonight. And... Uh, I see volleyball October 10th at the Union Bank and Trust Sports Complex. Uh, October 13th versus Urbandale at Valley. October 17th at Johnston. Uh, regionals will be on the 20th. Uh, regionals will also be on the 22nd. Looks like uh, a play-in tournament for volleyball. And then regionals again on the 27th. I know state meet is November 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, and that will be live on CISN.TV right here. Uh, Cross Country has a few meets left. Uh, Fort Dodge next Thursday. They're actually hosting, um, a, I don't want to say it's a JV meet, but I know their top 10 runners will be going to Fort Dodge on the 8th. But on the 6th, Valley is hosting a cross-country meet for the uh, essentially anyone who's not in the top 10 on Tuesday, the 6th. October 15th is a conference meet at Southeast Polk. That's a beautiful course. Uh, October 21st is the district meet. And state cross-country is at Fort Dodge on October 30th. Uh, football, we've got Waukee at Valley this Friday night. Ankeny Centennial will be at Valley on October 9th. And uh, the week after will be playoffs. And every, every team will be in the playoffs. Uh, boys golf October 5th are districts. And then October 9th and 10th is a state meet in Des Moines. So there you have the fall schedule for Valley coming right up. We are going to take another short break uh, as we get ready to start this meet. Hi, I'm Joe the Car Guy with Westside Auto. I'm excited to tell you about our new lifetime oil change plan. When you purchase our plan, you'll never have to pay for an oil change again. If you get a different car, simply transfer the plan over. If that car's oil needs are different than your original plan, just pay the difference. It couldn't be simpler. You won't have to worry about inflation or prices going up. Give us a call at Westside Auto Pros to get details on the lifetime oil change plan. And remember, when I say lifetime, I mean your lifetime, not just your cars. Hi, I'm Chris with Fireplace Superstore. Falls upon us and fireplace season is here, and you need a new heat and glow high efficient gas direct vet. These are ideal for your new construction project, for your remodeling project, or for removing your old wood burning fireplace and replacing it with a new heat and glow high efficient gas direct vet. Come see us today at Fireplace Superstore, 10820 Douglas in Urbandale. You can buy a new Ford at any Ford dealer. Why Shot and Kirk Ford? Our core values. Hard work, trust, character, integrity, honesty, and respect. During Shot and Kirk Ford's Fall Savings Event, get up to $12,500 off 2020 F-150 XLT. No goofy rebates. Everyone qualifies. Up to $12,000 off 2020 Expedition XLT. New 2020 Eco Sport four-wheel drive starting at $18,999. Your senior recognition, we will be announcing the seniors as they swim as well, pointing out who, uh, who is in there. Uh, Francesca Cannon, Ellie Barfels. Uh, I'm just going through the Eleanor Horak, 
Ashley Separ, Lexi Oringer, Kiara Cody, Quinn Kelly, Emma Norton. Um, Grace Broderick, Annie Thiel, Jocelyn Tracy, Allison Wyatt. All right, we're going to take another quick break before we before we start. And when we come back, we will be ready to roll. At Mid American Energy, we put our energy into making communities stronger, safer, and ready for the future. We support STEM education and community safety, special events, and economic development activities. We energize our cities and towns just like we have for decades, all to help make your community the place where you want to build your business, your legacy, and your life. It's another way we're obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Save thousands now at Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee. 15% off 2020 Equinox and 2020 Trax or 0% for 84 months. 15% off 2020 Sonic and 2020 Spark. WaukeeChevy.com. 12% off 2020 Blazer. 10% off 2020 Colorado. Up to $15,000 off new 2020 Suburban. We're in a position to give you more for your trade. As always, we're a partner you can count on. Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee. WaukeeChevy.com. And we are ready for some swimming. We are going to start out as we always do with the 200 yard medley relay. Junior varsity. As the uh, girls take the blocks, I will go through the uh, first team. The way I will do the first two things, if you are used to a typical duel, goes every other lane for each school. So Valley would be lane one, three, and five, and Boone would be two, four, and six. But because of uh, the world pandemic, we're putting Valley in lanes one, two, and three, and sometimes seven. And Boone will be five and six. Five, seven, seven is kind of a three helps them from um, mixing up too much. So, I'm going to go through the first swimmer of this relay, and then as the second swimmer takes off, I'll be going through the list of the uh, second swimmers, and then the third and fourth as they are in. So, lane one swimming for Valley is the senior for the chest of Cannon. Lane two, Mary Beth. Swimming in lane four is Maddie Smith. Alex Cunningham is in five. Ruby Mann is swimming for West Des Moines in six. And Valley's Laura Cody will be starting in lane seven. Our uh, baby meet. Lane six and seven are exhibitions, so they're uh, times. Or places will not count in the results. And as I look at lane two and three, that was a good turn for two up there, but uh, lane three hit the far wall first. Lane two had a really good turn and made up half the body length on lane three. But looks like lane two is hitting first, 3248 for a back, 3252 for lane two. Let's go through the second swimmer, starting up in lane one. Ellie Barfels for Valley. Lane two, Kayla Thurman. Lane three, Bella Hager. For Boone in lane four, Leslie Olson. Lane five, Bailey Lilly. Uh, West Des Moines, Ashley Separ is in six, and Quinn Kelly is in seven. As they round out this breaststroke, it's still between lanes three and four, and they will put about a mile on anybody else. 37. That was Carla uh, Thurman swimming a 37 for the 50 breast, which is a great timing. So let's see uh, third swimmer, Libby Tharp in lane one. Ray 
Luis Padilla in two. Madison Ching in three. Cole Boone. Shelby Brown in four. Chloe Davidson in five. Sally has Eleanor Horak in six. And Veronica Winterstrom in seven. Lane two and three. Boy, oh boy. That was a 31.52 for lane two and a 32.71. So uh, lane two, that was uh, Grace Padilla made up a second and a half. And she uh, made the race for first tight. It's going to come down to this last 25. Those two are neck and neck. That is Megan Chang in two and Avery Hawk in three. And Megan Chang in three and Avery Hawk in three. Avery Hawk in three. Avery Hawk in three. Katie Gillespie in lane one for Valley, Anna Sando for Boone in four, Cassidy Bacon in five for Boone, Lexi Oringer for Valley in six, and Emma Norton in seven as lane three, Avery Hope finishes strong, winning for Valley in a time of 2.13.19, that was lane two, their B squad finishing 14.12.
figure out our audio. Sorry about this. All right, so Boone does take that, 153.68. It's a great time, One, uh, 155.07 in lane two. And Valley took third place as well. So Hello. Oh. Hello, hello. Hey, we're back. All right, I think we're good now. <laughs> Sorry about that. Somebody turned my mic off. I just I just turned it on. Okay. Sorry about that, folks. Uh we are Looking at Liv Wang in lane one, Madeline Ulrich in two, and Ella Schluter in lane three. For Boone, we've got Bailey Lilly in four, Shelby Brown in five, and Alex Cunningham in six. Lily, uh, Bailey Lilly with a slight advantage over Ella Schluter as they bring it home. Lane four, Bailey Lilly. Full body length as she comes into the turn. Rounding it out, that was a 39 second 50. This is a JV heat. That's a good time. These kids are uh, rolling in this uh, JV heat. Shelby Brown in five. Third place. And she's being chased up there at the top of your screen by Liv Wang. The junior from Valley. As Bailey Lilly maintains her lead and in fact picks it up a little bit. She touches in 228.93. Schluter for Valley touches in 231.99. Looks like we got Boone coming home next in lane five. That's Brown. She's home in 245.23. Top of your screen, that is Liv Wang. 250.13 followed by lane two. Ulrich, 255.32. And here comes Boone in lane six. That's Cunningham in three minutes flat, 0 .007. That was the junior varsity 200 yard freestyle. And we are looking at the varsity heat of the same event. That's uh, lane one will be West Des Moines Valley's freshman, Briley Corwin. Lane two, Allison Rickert. And Morgan Hunt in lane three. Couple of juniors there for Valley. For Boone, we're looking at Marin Powell in four, Sierra Sherry in five, and Savannah Heldenbrand in lane six. I do not have their years, so I cannot comment on that. Your varsity 200 yard freestyle. Stepping on the blocks. I do not have pre-meet times, but 
it looks like uh, lane four there, that's uh, Marin Powell had a great start. and She takes the lead at the turn. Morgan Hunt right on her shoulder. Up there in lane one though, that's Briley Corwin. She is, she's taking the lead coming into the turn. You know, typically they put the fastest uh, swimmers in the middle of the pool, but that lane one seems to get fast uh, in this uh, pandemic times. That's pandemic fast water up there. Obviously it's all a little mixed up here, but nonetheless, that's uh, Briley Corwin in one. Morgan Hunt in three for Valley and, and Marin Powell for Boone in lane four. It's like the race for third. Look, Sierra Sherry. She came on real strong. That was a great turn. She made up half a body length on that turn. Heldenbrand. Heldenbrand in six. That's Bri uh, Briley Corwin up there in lane one. She and Morgan Hunt have put the hammer down. Morgan Hunt may have a slight advantage up there in lane three. As they take one more turn at this end of the pool, Hunt pulls ahead. The three Boone swimmers, shoulder to shoulder. Corwin at the top of your screen. Hanging on for second at the moment. It's going to be a race for the line. I think we've got the first place spot picked, but uh, second, third, fourth are all open. Hunt bringing it home, 207.59. And lane five, Sherry, Sierra Sherry touches second. Boone, 209.86. And she is followed by Corwin up in lane one, 210.05. And lane six. So Boone, two and four. Valley, one and three for those ever important points. Individual medley coming on up. There we go. Uh, Megan Chang for Valley in lane one. Audrey Parno in two. Bella Hagar in lane three. For Boone, we've got two swimmers. Kennedy Zond in four. And Maddie Smith in five. In swimming exhibition for Valley are Kiana Almanza and Julia Richards in lane six and seven. Coaches will swim exhibition to get uh, girls times. Their scores won't count, so even if they come in first, their score won't count, but their time certainly does on the coach's sheet as he's putting together relays and, and uh, his varsity roster for the next meet. He'll look at all of these times, including the exhibition. So even swimming exhibition, they're gonna go as hard as possible because they're vying perhaps for a spot on a uh, relay or spot on the varsity squad as we look at that is Kennedy's on Boone in lane four coming in in front 35-36 she swaps into the backstroke off that butterfly Makes the turn up at the end of the pool. Coming back, still maintaining that lead. Valley's Bella Hager following close behind in second. Third place, I'd have to say right now, is up in lane one. Megan Chang, Audrey Parno in lane two, and Kiana Elmanza in lane six are Boy, lanes one, two, and six all turned at the same time. The scoreboard gave uh, a slight advantage to Parno in lane two, followed by followed by Chang in 
lane one and Almanza in lane six. Our boon swimmer, Kennedy Zond, touching for her final 50. She's got her freestyle. That was a 43.59 for the breaststroke compared to Hager, who's in second, did a 46.76. So three seconds plus for just that 50 in the breaststroke for Zond as she comes home. We've got first and second sorted out, but third is a race. Almanza, Smith, Parnot. Smith in lane five for Boone. Almanza in lane six for Valley. Those two racing for the line. And Boone touches first, taken fourth overall. She is out of breath. That took everything she had. That IM is a tough race. Richards coming home in lane seven. Our winning time, 239.72. Second place, Valley, 242.69. We've got uh, five swimmers in the next heat, which is the varsity 200 yard individual medley. Katie Bonus swimming for Valley in lane one. Brittany Block in lane two. Allison He in lane three. Freshman Allison He and Lexi Gradaville swimming for Boone in lane four and Reagan Peter in lane five. This is your varsity 200 yard individual medley. I'd like to thank Peter Tarpey for getting us set up. And run and wire cast this evening. We're trying to kick him out because his daughter is home, Peter Tarpey, the founder of Central Iowa Sports Network. Well, we're not calling a leader yet because I think five girls took off from the blocks and five girls touched at the same time, but it looks like Valley's Allison He, freshman, has pulled ahead on that butterfly last 25. Katie Bonus up there in lane one touches second. And uh, Brittany Block. So Valley went one, one, two, three at the first turn. But Lexi Gradaville for Boone was a close fourth. That was a tight race. She's putting the heat on to try and get on that third spot. Reagan Peter finishing up that backstroke in lane five for Boone as Allison He turns and hits the breaststroke. That was a 33 second 50 for Allison He. The next fastest time was Katie Bonus at 38. So she, she, Allison He up there in lane three swam that fly five seconds faster than the next swimmer. Obviously she has pulled ahead and she is owning this breaststroke coming home ready for the final turn and hit the 50 yard freestyle right here. That was a 41 second breaststroke. It looks like Block touches second. Peter in lane five touches third. So Peter's arguing for a spot on the podium right there as he comes home. Valley's he 25 yards ahead of the rest. She touches in 219.10. 
She just swam at 32 second 50. Now who's going to be second? That looks like Block up in lane two is going to touch second and it's a race for third. It is anyone's at this point. And Boone's Gradeville swims a 33-10 to take third for Boone. That is a tough race. There's your times for you. That's their final split in the middle and their total time on the right. We have four heats of the 50 yard freestyle. There's a lot of Valley kids in this. First heat is all Valley. We've got lane one, Michaela Kurtz. Lane two, Emma Norton. Lane three, Veronica Winterstrom. Lane four, Quinn Kelly. Lane five, Alexia Lopez. Lane six, Brooke Beamer. And lane seven, Jill Huffman. All Valley swimmers, we've got two seniors, Emma Norton and Veronica Winterstrom. And Quinn Kelly. That would be three, three seniors. And they are off for 50 yards of a frantic dash. As a photographer, the 50 free is the hardest one to shoot because <laughs> sometimes they just don't even breathe. I like the pictures of them looking up at the camera. They're obviously not looking at the camera, they're breathing, but when they don't breathe, you don't get that. You just get a lot of water. It's like uh, lane four, that is Quinn Kelly, the senior from Valley, bringing it home. 36.85, followed by Wennerstrom. Beamer. Give you your, their times. Norton takes fourth. Lopez fifth. Huffman sixth. Kurt seventh. Get ready for the second of three junior varsity 50 free heats. Uh, got a couple of boom kids in here. We'll start off with Valley in lane one. That's Le Lexi Oringer. Ellie Barfels in two and Francesca Cannon in three. Those are all seniors from West Des Moines. For Boone, we've got Chloe Davidson in four and Taylor Mock in five. And again for Valley, we've got Lillian Sears in six and senior Kiara Cody in seven. 50 yard freestyle junior varsity. They are being called to the blocks. I thought I saw a little twitch by one of the girls, but our chief referee either did not see it or let it slide. Tight race to the end of the pool. Looks like up there in lane two, that is Ellie Barfels. Might have touched first, but there's lane one coming on strong. Hard to say. There's lane six and seven are, uh, are swimming well too. That's Lillian Sears and Kiara Cody. Lane one takes it, it's, it's uh, lane one, three and two, go one, two, three. There's your times and places. And Cody in lane seven took fourth, Sears fifth, Davidson sixth, and Mock seventh. Your third and final heat of the Junior Varsity 50 free. We've got four seniors for Valley, three swimmers for Boone. Let's start up in lane one. Ashley Sipar uh, for Valley, Libby Mann, Libby Tharp, lane three. For Boone, we've got Jessalie Olson in four, Anna Sondell in five, Cassidy Bacon in lane six, and swimming for Valley is senior Eleanor Horak. So lanes one, two, three, and seven, Valley, four, five, and six, Boone. Lane seven is an exhibition. 
and she got a great start. That's Eleanor Horak in lane seven, but it looks like uh, Libby Tharp in lane three is taking this one home, and I'll be curious to see if she's at 21, 22, 23 seconds. She may break 30. She will break 30. 27.75 for the senior Libby Tharp. Horak took second in uh, lane seven, and of course that was exhibition. Her time will count, but not her place. Third place is uh, Olsen from Boone. Fourth place, Mann in lane two. Fifth is Sipar in lane one. And Boone rounds out with Sondel and Bacon. We've got our varsity 50-yard freestyle. We've got six swimmers here for Valley. Annie Thiel in one, Emily Nelson in two, Allison Wyatt in three. For Boone, we've got Liz Pirtle in four, Anna Goot in five, and Emily Winger in six. The Valley has two swimmers tonight, Annie Thiel in lane one, and Allison Wyatt in lane three. And Wyatt is fighting Pirtle in lane three and four. That Pirtle in for Boone in lane four is driving it home. Look at that stroke. She has got a stretch. That is high quality swimming right there, folks. 24.99 for the Boone swimmer. Our well, I'm gonna show you the times, but the names, I don't think are, their names are not correct. But look at those times, 24.99, 25.28, Boone takes first and second. Don't look at the names there. But uh, Valley, 25.35, so that is uh, Liz Pirtle for Boone wins it. Anna Goot in second. Allison Wyatt for Valley in third. Fourth is lane six, Emily Wingert. Fifth is lane one, Annie Thiel. Sixth is lane two, Emily Nelson. That was your 50-yard freestyle. There we go. There's the names. Winger, who, yep, yep, there's the names. I'll leave that on for a minute. So we've got a treat for you tonight. I hope. I hope this is a treat. Um, Coach Chris Mann from the Boone from Boone, I, I'm just going to say I'm like 55 and my mind went blank. Trepidors? Troubadours. Troubadours? Trepidors. Troubadours. <laughs> the Boone swimmers. Uh, Boone coach, sorry about that, um, uh, is going to come up and we are going to do an interview with him while the divers warm up. There's a blank screen that you are looking at. That's not very fun. Well, there we go. There's uh, um, what we're gonna be looking at in diving. Bring you the pool here. There we go. So we're gonna go to commercial break and we, when we come back, uh, we'll be talking with Chris Mann from Boone. And um, I have to mention the rest of the coaches. Uh, Meg Odding is the Boone diving coach. Uh, Sean DeBoof is the Valley head coach and he is assisted by Steve Davis. And Julie Dickinson is the uh, Valley diving coach. So we're going to take a quick break and when we come back we'll be talking with uh, Chris Mann. Focus to define what is most important and commit yourself fully. It's why at Fairway, only the best meat makes the cut. Our fresh fish is full of flavor and our produce is picked with incredible care. It's why we have fewer aisles, greater savings, and the most personal service. At Fairway, our focus is and always will be giving you the best in meat and grocery. Save thousands 
now at Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee. 15% off 2020 Equinox and 2020 Trax or 0% for 84 months. 15% off 2020 Sonic and 2020 Spark. WaukeeChevy.com. 12% off 2020 Blazer. 10% off 2020 Colorado. Up to $15,000 off new 2020 Suburban. We're in a position to give you more for your trade. As always, we're a partner you can count on. Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee. WaukeeChevy.com. At MidAmerican Energy, we put our energy into making communities stronger, safer, and ready for the future. We support STEM education and community safety, special events, and economic development activities. We energize our cities and towns just like we have for decades, all to help make your community the place where you want to build your business, your legacy, and your life. It's another way we're obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Hi, I'm Joe the Car Guy with Westside Auto. I'm excited to tell you about our new lifetime oil change plan. When you purchase our plan, you'll never have to pay for an oil change again. If you get a different car, simply transfer the plan over. If that car's oil needs are different than your original plan, just pay the difference. It couldn't be simpler. You won't have to worry about inflation or prices going up. Give us a call at Westside Auto Pros to get details on the lifetime oil change plan. And remember, when I say lifetime, I mean your lifetime, not just your cars. Hi, I'm Chris from Fireplace Superstore. Fall is upon us and fireplace season is here and you need one of the brand new Heat & Glow gas fireplace inserts. They're the perfect retrofit for that old wood burning fireplace that you're not using. You get beautiful flames, you get heat, you get easy operation and they're all brand new Heat & Glow gas fireplace inserts. Please come see us, Fireplace Superstore, 109th and Douglas and Urbandale. <laughs> All right, we're putting a show together. Randy Nielsen is now running our wire cast and the camera, so uh, he can be in two places at once. Uh, Dave Mabel here, Central Iowa Sports Network, here with Coach Chris Mann from the Boone Trepidors Torridors. <laughs> <laughs> I've said it every which way except the right way. How do you hey, say that's your, right. the Torridors? The Torridors. Yep. What is a tor? Tell us what a Torridor. Uh, your guess is as good as mine. No, uh, they're some sort of matador bull clown uh they yeah yeah a little bit of cape action <laughs> nice nice so not the matador yeah the torador yeah i All guess right, dig it <laughs> dig it torador i'll try to remember that folks um so you've been boone coach for 10 years now yep. uh what brings you to boone uh i was actually a student at iowa state and uh started coaching the wide program and then the high school positions boys and girls both opened up at the same time so threw my hat in the ring and 10 years later here we are nice were you a swimmer uh, i was a swimmer in high school uh, then iowa state does not offer the men's program so uh y yeah just you know love swimming since forever Where'd you go to uh, high school muscatine muscatine oh muscatine's got mm -hmm. a great history of swimming yeah, yeah. great Who? coach great coach she's been there for 55 years i was so. gonna say your coach has been there for yeah he's been there I, a long time i've been at the uh, state swim meet where he's yeah. been awarded like 30 year, 35 <laughs> yeah. year, 40 year. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, that's pretty awesome. Well, you can't get better uh, mentorship than, uh, Absolutely. than that, right? Absolutely. Uh, so, you guys have had a great season so far. Yeah. Uh, 8 0. Yep. Uh, first of all, tell me, like, what kind of school? This is an odd meet. Yes. Uh, you guys got shelled on a meet, and so you called up Sean DeBoof uh, and said, hey, let's put something together. Yeah. Um, you know, with. A lot of us losing meets um, here and there. I just told uh, Brett Collins, our AD, I said, any meet you can find us would be great. And he reached out to a bunch of different schools, and Valley was gracious to gracious to host us, and um, we couldn't be more grateful to get another meet. And I don't think Sean and I were talking. I don't know if Boone and Valley have ever had a dual meet. And um, it's a lot of fun to compete against teams that you don't normally get to see. Yeah, for sure. I've been around the Valley Swim Program since... 2009 and okay. never seen Boone here. Yeah. So yep. yeah, for sure. Who, uh, what are your t what teams do you usually like? Who's in your conference? Who do your yeah? Our, our conference is actually made up of schools that don't have a conference, I guess, because of all, all of our conferences are more three A schools that don't have pools and um, don't have teams. And so we've got we stretch all the way from Decorah to down to uh, Oskaloosa, um, Centerville, Grinnell. Newton, you name it, we're kind of all over the place, but the schools we usually swim against uh, Central Iowa, kind of the smaller schools, um, but we usually have a meet against Roosevelt, uh, we swim against East, 
Um, and so we see a couple bigger schools, but usually it's more the Grinnell, Carroll, Newton, um, a little bit on the smaller end. Very cool. So you're 8-0. Uh, tell us about your season. Like, wh uh, who's rocking? What improvements have you seen? Uh, we knew this was going to be a pretty special season. Um, we've got five returning state swimmers from last year uh, that, that were really gunning for this, for this senior season. Um, a lot of them are seniors, and our senior class is great leaders. We couldn't ask for better there. Um, and, you know, I think everyone around the whole state this year is just happy that we get a season. And so it just makes it that much more special every day we get to swim. Um, you know, we had to take the whole summer off, which we're not used to. Um, haven't been able to swim since uh, February, I guess. And so um, these girls are really loving the season, and I think their love for the sport is really driving the success that they're having. That's very cool. Were you able to help them stay in shape over the summer or <laughs> in any way? Uh, a lot of our facilities were closed, and so um, our outdoor pool was closed, um, our Y shut down, our high school facilities were all closed for some remodeling and, and because of COVID precautions. And, and so just trying to tell them to find somewhere to get in a weight room or find a pool here and there. A lot of them did some open water swimming. You know, they go on vacation, they swim at the lake, or they take the boat out and they'd, they'd go for a swim or they get in a pool here and there. But um, we kind of use it as more of a summer to refresh, you know, take, take some time off, take some time with family, um, get, a, get a good mindset heading into the season, no burnout. And then they knew when we started up day one, we were gearing up and we were getting ready to go. So uh, you're eight and oh, your girls came in tapered. <laughs> yeah, they were ready. They were, they were, ready. They were ready to go. Um, we, that, I had to make sure that we, we beat them up pretty good the first couple weeks of the season so we didn't hop into that first meet too rested. Um, and so, yeah, we hit, we hit practices really hard, and, and these girls love to work hard, and, and we've seen the improvements all year. Um, from our top-end girls to, to our JV girls, I mean, nothing but um, awesome improvements throughout the entire season so far. So you had, uh, I think you said, five girls at state last mm -hmm. year. Are you seeing improvements from them? Like, do you expect state... Uh, uh yeah. Level swimming from them? Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, we expect to be back at the state meet, barring any um, crazy circumstances. Um, we'd love to get all three of our relays back there. A couple individual swims back there would be fantastic. Um, but we're seeing all four of our girls swim together. We have one sophomore who's swimming on a lot of those relays and a couple other sophomores that kind of fill in on some relays that have really stepped up big this year when we needed some time drops. And the time we swam in the medley relay tonight was actually uh, just a little bit faster than our state time last year. And so it's nice to be able to be at that level before we get to the tapers and the, and the tech suits and, and go into the big meets like that. Yeah, I noticed that was a real fast time. Like, you got some swimmers. It's fun, or... it's fun to get, you know, to compete, and it's fun for them to be able to compete on a high level. They, they, love, they love to just get out and race. I would guess, and I'm not, I mean, I would guess they're, pretty excited to come down here to valley big old valley and be competitive yeah absolutely and and you know as far as a as far as a team team standing standpoint um we might not have the depth to keep up but just be able to you know we've been able to put some go together some good races tonight yeah, yeah and even if we don't win those races to drive those times down and use that to our advantage because you don't want to you know hum haul around all season and then go to the regional meet and not have faced that comp that level of competition uh, right. on a regular basis. And so um, really nice to get some good racing down here tonight. Yeah, very good. Well, listen, we're glad uh, this could be pulled together. And who knows, maybe you're starting a tradition. <laughs> that would be a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, well, Chris Mann, um, your uh, diving coach is? Meg Odding. Meg Oddy. Odding? Odding. Odding. Yep. Yep, I'll get that right, too. I've you got it. Toyodos Odding. You there got you it. Go. There, there you go. go. All right. Uh, well, we're going to take a break, and uh, we'll be back for some great diving. In Iowa, we grow corn. But to us, corn is more than a cash crop. It's part of who we are. Corn supports our livestock, helping our animals thrive. Corn fuels us. Ethanol powers our state as we push towards a clean, burning future. Corn nourishes us. It gives us an abundance of good food that nourishes our families, helps our student athletes grow stronger. In Iowa, we grow corn. But the truth is, corn grows Iowa. You can buy a new Ford at any Ford dealer. Why Shot and Kirk Ford? Our core values, hard work, trust, character, integrity, honesty, and respect. During Shot and Kirk Ford's fall savings event, get up to $12,500 off 2020 F-150 XLT. No goofy rebates. Everyone qualifies. Up to $12,000 off 2020 Expedition XLT. New 2020 EcoSport four-wheel drive starting at $18,990. Our certified used vehicles come with a 12-month, 12,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty. Hurry in. Shot and Kirk Ford, Indianola. ShotandKirkFord.com. 
Godfather's Pizza's Autumn Feast. A medium specialty pizza, a medium pepperoni pizza, and my new caramel apple streusel with Twix candy pieces. Get yours today. All right, folks, we are back. Got some scores here. Uh, actually, pretty impressive. <laughs> um, uh, Junior Varsity, Valley 37, Boone 25. And Varsity, Boone 32, Valley 30. So uh, this, this dive meet, that's going to mean something. And I'm, ah, there we go. Looking for my dive heat sheet. There we go. We've got uh, eight divers, six dives apiece. Um, one, two, four from, well, five from Boone, three from Valley, looks like. Uh, Lorelei Turner for Boone, Hannah Good, Tessa Blair. Here we go, Boone, uh, reverse somersault for Laurel Turner right here and now. Nice, she didn't get quite straightened out. Uh, I think you can see the coaches there, or the judges, five, five, and five and a half. Um, uh, Don Rafferty helped with our stream the other day, and uh, well, we'll talk about the quiet as we look at Hannah Good coming to the board. She's doing a reverse dive, 1.8 is the degree of difficulty. Her score will be added up and then multiplied by that degree of difficulty. Reverse dive laid out. Almost got straight up. Uh, five, four and a half, and six and a half. So kind of varied opinions of that dive right there. <coughs> this is Tessa Blair. She's doing a reverse dive. 1.6 degree of difficulty. Ah, that was a beautiful dive. Uh, tuck position. I'm six and a half, five and a half, six and a half. I do not have the positions on my sheet, so I'm trying to listen. Um, Jenny Wyatt for Valley is doing a reverse dive pike position. Degree of difficulty 1.7. She went in nice and straight, got good height, six and a half, six and seven. Uh, JC Flockert from Boone doing a reverse dive, I think he said pike position, 1.7. Pike position. She was just starting to over rotate and correct it a little bit. Six, six, and five and a half. Paige Thompson coming up for Valley. She's doing a reverse dive. Tuck position. 1.6 is her degree of difficulty. Current leader, Jenny Wyatt, with 38.15 points. And that will be a no dive, no points. So uh, Don Rafferty had a daughter go to Iowa, and she said during the dives at the college level, it is loud. So it was a huge change for uh, Morgan, her daughter, when she went from high school diving where it's golf quiet. This is Ella Patterson. Reverse somersault, pike position, degree of difficulty 1.7. She gets a 5, 5.5, five and, and a 5. Kenyon Smith is our final diver. She's doing a reverse dive, tuck position. 
1.6 is her degree of difficulty. She is from Valley. Nice. Again, a little correction there at the entrance, but she's rewarded with a six, six and a half, and a six. So she gets 29.6. Jenny Wyatt is still our leader at 33.15. Lorelei Turner is up next, doing a forward one and a half somersault, 1.6 degree of difficulty. I like that. Five and a half, six, and six. I thought that was a nice looking dive there, looking at everything from the from the stance to the hurdle, which is when they hop. And they're looking at their time and height in the air. They're looking at their body position as they go through the air. And they're looking at their entrance into the water. This is Hannah Good doing a forward somersault with half a twist, 1.7. She got around it, five and a half, five and a half, and six. Thought that looked nice. Teasa Blair, her second dive is a reverse somersault. Pike, pike position, 1.7 degree of difficulty. That was a I thought a great dive. Six and a half, six and a half, and five and a half. Jenny Wyatt, her second dive is a reverse somersault. Tuck position, 1.6 degree of difficulty. She got laid out. She got quite a ways away from the board. They like to see him about an arm length away from the board. Five and a half, six and a half, and five. I say that because I'm an expert now. I'm kidding. But I have been watching some diving. J.C. Flockhart from Boone. Reverse somersault. Pike position. She gets around, enters nice and straight. Seven and a half, seven and a half, six and a half. She's rewarded. That'll that should be a good score for her. Sixty-six point three, and that puts her back into the lead. Paige Thompson doing a forward somersault. One point five. Pike position, she got straight. Seven, yeah, I was impressed by that. Seven, seven, and six for Paige Thompson. 30 points for that dive. Ella Patterson, back somersault, 1.6. Five and a half, six and a half, and six for Patterson. Kenyon Smith is doing a reverse somersault, tuck position. They can do it either tuck with their knees pulled up, pike, or laid out. Little over rotation as she entered the water, but good height, good rotation. Six, six, and five and a half. 
I think it's got to be hard as a judge to make that call immediately. Like they don't have slow motion replay. We have our round two, Lorelei Turner. Or round three, I mean, Lorelei Turner for Boone doing an inward dive. Degree of difficulty, 1.5. Feet were spread a little bit at the end. I know they look at that. <clears throat> they like nice pointed toes. Five and a half, five and six. Hannah Good's third dive is a forward somersault. Pike position. Degree of difficulty. Degree <laughs> DD is 1.5. DD is like diving lingo for degree of difficulty. Five and a half, five and a half, and five for good. Jenny Wyatt is doing an inward dive. 1.5 degree of difficulty. Oh, this is Teyessa Blair doing an inward dive. Six and a half, seven, six. I thought that was a beautiful dive. Nice straight head and end, good height. Nice straight legs, pointed toes. And she takes the lead with 90.3 points. Now we've got Jenny Wyatt, inward dive, 1.5, bike position. little over rotated five and a half six and a half six and a half judges like that Jesse JC Flockhart two somersaults forward tuck position 2.2 .2 degree of difficulty so she will go around twice and enter feet first Six and a half, five and a half, five and a half. That'll be a good score for her, multiplied by 2.2, 104. That was a 38 point dive. 104.8 is her total, so she jumps back into the lead. We've got Paige Thompson for uh, Valley doing an inward dive. Pike position. Little over rotated, kind of kept going. A little angle, four and a half, five and a half, five and a half for her points. Ella Patterson up next for Boone, doing two, doing one and a half somersaults forward. Pike position. 1.7 is her degree of difficulty. Nice, a little angle going in, but I thought she had good height. Five and a half, six and a half, and six. Nice straight going in. Straight legs on the rotations. Canyon Smith, Valley, doing an inward somersault, 1.6 degree of difficulty. She had just enough height to straighten those legs out. Seven, six and a half, six and a half. All right, we are halfway through this dive competition. So we look at Lorelei Turner, 
who is doing an or inward somersault tuck position. 1.6 is her degree of difficulty as the Boone Diver kicks off our fourth round. Could add a little more height to get straightened out, but the judges give her six, six and a half, and six and a half. Hannah Good up next, doing a back somersault. Straight, she'll be laid out as she rotates. Degree of difficulty, 1.7. Beautiful. Gets a round of applause. Four and a half, five and six. Blair is up next, doing an inward somersault. Tuck position, 1.6. Nice, she got straightened out before she entered. Six, six and a half, six. Hannah Good leaving with 108 points and not anymore. Blair moves ahead with 119. Jenny Wyatt, forward one and a half somersaults. Pike position, 1.7. Knees were a little bent on that pike. But what do I know? Judges are giving her six, six and a half, and six. JC Flockhart, back one and a half somersaults. Tuck position, 2.0 for her degree of difficulty. And she made it. Decent height, five and a half, six, and six. The 35 point dive, giving her 139.8, putting her into the lead again. Paige Thompson up next, doing an inward somersault, 1.6 degree of difficulty. Six, six, and five and a half for Thompson from Valley. Ella Patterson from Boone is up next. She's doing an inward somersault. Pike position. 1.7 is her DD. The, she's probably not going to be super happy with that entrance, but uh, judges are giving her four and a half, four and a half, and a five. Gives her 23.8 points for 109.55 five, five overall. Kenyon Smith up, forward one and a half somersaults, pike position. I thought that was a nice dive. Maybe a little of an angle going in, but the judges like it. Six and a half, seven and seven as we line up 
for round five of six. So we are making our way through this as we look at Lorelei Turner going to the board, doing back somersault, 1.6 degree of difficulty. If I were a parent, that would make me nervous. Look good. She was far enough away from the board, but I still get nervous. Five and a half, five and a half, and six were her scores there. 27.2 gives her a total of 135.15. Hannah Good is up next. She's doing an inward dive with a degree of difficulty of 1.4. Nice straight entrance, six, six, and six and a half. 25.9 gives her 133.95 to take into the final round as we look at Taya Sablair. Forward two somersaults, 2.2 degree of difficulty. Nice. She didn't quite get straightened out before she entered the water, but she's getting a five, six, and five for that dive. For 35.2, she's got 155 points going into the final round. Jenny Y is doing a back somersault, degree of difficulty 1.7. She did that in the open position. And it gets five and a half all the way around. So take that 16 and a half and multiply it by 1.7 for 28.05 points. She goes into the final round with 147.6. It's JC Flockhart. She's doing inward one and a half somersaults. Degree of difficulty 2.2. Oh, she made it. That she made that look easy. Seven and a half, seven and seven. That was a beautiful dive, and that was times two point two. So that'll give her forty seven point three on that dive, hundred and eighty seven point one, and bumps back up into the lead. As we look at Paige Thompson doing a back somersault, one point seven is her degree of difficulty. Nice laid out position. Six, six, and another six for Thompson. 30 points, giving her a 111.85. Ella Patterson, forward somersault with a half twist. Free position. 1.5. Six, six and a half, and six for that dive there. Kenyon Smith up next doing a back somersault. She's doing this straight or laid out. Just whip those feet over.
Nice dive, good height, six, six, and six. That gives her a total of 155.05 going into the final round. JC Flockhart takes a lead, 187.1 coming into the final round as we look at Lorelei Turner doing a somersault forward with one half twist. For her final dive. Legs a little, came a little bit apart at the entrance there, but she's still five, five and a half, and four and a half. And she finishes with 160 points. 160.65. Hannah Good up next, and she is doing a back somersault with half twist, degree of difficulty 1.7. Makes it around, gets that half twist in there. Five, five and a half, and five. Gives her a total from, we had 26 to her 130 for 160.3. Tassa Blair, forward somersault with one twist. 1 1.9 degree of difficulty. Little movement of the arms as she was coming into the water. Judges are given a four and a half, five and a three. Three by her own coach. Gives her a total of 178.85. Jenny Wyatt is doing a back somersault, one and a half twist, free position, 2.3 degree of difficulty. Whoa, that's a lot of twisting going on. I want to see that in slow motion. Four and a half, four and four. That will be added to her 147.6 for 176.35. J.C. Flockhart is doing a forward somersault with two twists, free position, 2.3 degree of difficulty. Arms came out a bit at the end to slow her spin down, but still a seven, a five, and a six. Another way of saying that is five, six, seven. 41 points, 228.50. Moves her into the lead. Paige Thompson, forward somersault with one twist, 1.9. 1 She got fully twisted around there. She was facing the uh, far wall. Six and a half, five and a half, and five and a half. She will end with 145.1. L. Patterson uh, is doing a forward somersault with one twist. Free position. 1.9 is her degree of difficulty. See how the judges view that. Giving it a six and a five and a half and a six. Be added to her 141 for a total of 174.25. K. 
Kenyon Smith is finishing up the night with a back somersault, one twist, free position, 1.9. Five, five and a half, and five and a half. That score will be multiplied by 1.9, added to her 155 for 185.45. All right, so I'm going to do some quick calculations. I don't know how deep they score diving, but let's go six, seven, eight. All right, now this is unofficial because as you can maybe see, here we go, we got Randy zooming in on him there. The, uh, co uh, well, coaches, they're kind of discussing scores and stuff. So what I'm about to give you is unofficial. Because as you can see, they're still chatting. And I don't know what they're discussing. He does have, like, a rule book or something out. And they're discussing something. So I don't know if it's points. But let's just go with their dives and what we have. We've got in eighth place, Paige Thompson with 145.111, or 11, I guess. Um, she was hurt on her first dive. She didn't score, uh, missed the dive, so zero points on that first dive. Otherwise, if you put another tw 25 or 30 points, she's up in the up in the crowd there. So Paige Thompson will want to get uh, that first dive figured out. S uh, seventh place, Hannah Good of Boone, 160.3. Sixth place is Lorelei Turner from Boone, 160.65. Oh, look at that. Ella Patterson, 174. Look at this. We can show you. They usually don't do this. Uh, Jenny Wyatt, 176.35. Uh, yeah, those are the ones I had there, six and seven and eight. Um, uh, Teasa Blair got third, 178.85. Kenyon Smith, 185.45. Um, so we've got Boone going one, three, and Valley going two, four. Boone has fifth. And sixth. Again, I don't know how deep they score, but that will definitely affect the overall score. And as you recall, Boone had the lead going into the break by two points over Valley. Boone with 32, Valley with 30. All right, we are going to get ready for the... Sometimes I go to a break here, and then I miss the start of the butterfly, and that's one of my favorite races. So we're going to stay right on it here. Um, we have the 100-yard uh, butterfly uh, varsity. No, no JV of the butterfly. And we've got an all-senior... Heat for Valley, Annie Thiel, Jocelyn Tracy, and Allison Wyatt, all seniors swim in the varsity 100-yard uh, butterfly. So I look at the divers. Young team for Valley, uh, Paige Thompson, uh, freshman, Janie Wyatt, freshman, and Kenyon Smith, a sophomore. So uh, looks like a good future ahead for the Tigers in the world of diving coached by Julie Dickinson uh, she she was a diver here at Valley in I think she graduated 2013 
and went and dove at Iowa State. So a D1 diver coming out of the Mark Wagner pool. Uh, she was followed by uh, Morgan Rafferty, who graduated the following year, and she dove at Iowa. And then, shoot, I'm drawing a blank on her name, but another uh, girl in that class went to UNI and dove. So, uh, Julie Dickinson, the diving coach for Valley, having a good crew to work with, and was definitely pushed to be her best at both Valley and Iowa State. Uh, swing for, we do have warm-ups going on. They're diving in. Maybe I'll go to br break, or how about this? Nope, it's gone. Um, Fairway's been good to us. We're going to take a little break so that uh, you don't have to listen to me talk incessantly uh, for the next three minutes. Focus to define what is most important and commit yourself fully. It's why at Fairway, only the best meat makes the cut. Our fresh fish is full of flavor and our produce is picked with incredible care. It's why we have fewer aisles, greater savings, and the most personal service. At Fairway, our focus is and always will be giving you the best in meat and grocery. Save thousands now at Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee. 15% off 2020 Equinox and 2020 Trax or 0% for 84 months. 15% off 2020 Sonic and 2020 Spark. WaukeeChevy.com. 12% off 2020 Blazer. 10% off 2020 Colorado. Up to $15,000 off new 2020 Suburban. We're in a position to give you more for your trade. As always, we're a partner you can count on. Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee. WaukeeChevy.com. At MidAmerican Energy, we put our energy into making communities stronger, safer, and ready for the future. We support STEM education and community safety, special events, and economic development activities. We energize our cities and towns just like we have for decades, all to help make your community the place where you want to build your business, your legacy, and your life. It's another way we're obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Hi, I'm Joe the Car Guy with Westside Auto. I'm excited to tell you about our new lifetime oil change plan. When you purchase our plan, you'll never have to pay for an oil change again. If you get a different car, simply transfer the plan over. If that car's oil needs are different than your original plan, just pay the difference. It couldn't be simpler. You won't have to worry about inflation or prices going up. Give us a call at Westside Auto Pros to get details on the lifetime oil change plan. And remember, when I say lifetime, I mean your lifetime, not just your car's. Hi, I'm Chris from Fireplace Superstore. Fall is upon us and fireplace season is here and you need one of the brand new Heat & Glow gas fireplace inserts. They're the perfect retrofit for that old wood burning fireplace that you're not using. You get beautiful flames, you get heat, you get easy operation and they're all brand new Heat & Glow gas fireplace inserts. Please come see us, Fireplace Superstore, 109th and Douglas and Urbandale. In Iowa, we grow corn, but to us, corn is more than a cash crop. It's part of who we are. Corn supports our livestock, helping our animals thrive. Corn fuels us. Ethanol powers our state as we push towards a clean, burning future. Corn nourishes us. It gives us an abundance of good food that nourishes our families, helps our student athletes grow stronger. In Iowa, we grow corn, but the truth is, corn grows Iowa. Central Bank opened its doors in 1877 and has been proud to call Iowa home ever since. For more than a century, our family-owned business has worked hand-in-hand -hand with friends and neighbors across the state to make their dreams a reality. Come visit us at our new location on Hickman and Waukee and see how Central Bank can make it happen for you. We might not always know what the day will bring, but some things are certain. The sun will rise and your lights will go on. 
That's because at MidAmerican Energy, we're obsessively, relentlessly committed to providing you energy when and where you need it, to connecting with you and keeping our communities safe and strong. Because the most important thing we put our energy into is you. We're obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Iowans know that winter means snow, ice, and freezing temps. Severe weather can make the roads downright dangerous. Truck Equipment Incorporated has the toughest work equipment that can stand up to the harshest conditions. Look for Western brand snow plows, quality you can count on. Buy new or utilize our repair services. We'll order new parts for same day pickup or delivery. And now you can shop from home with our virtual showroom. Go to truckequipment.com today. Hi, I'm Joe the Car Guy with Westside Auto. I'm excited to tell you about our new lifetime oil change plan. When you purchase our plan, you'll never have to pay for an oil change again. If you get a different car, simply transfer the plan over. If that car's oil needs are different than your original plan, just pay the difference. It couldn't be simpler. You won't have to worry about inflation or prices going up. Give us a call at Westside Auto Pros to get details on the lifetime oil change plan. And remember, when I say lifetime, I mean your lifetime, not just your cars. Godfather's Pizza's Autumn Feast. A medium specialty pizza, a medium pepperoni pizza, and my new caramel apple streusel with Twix candy pieces. Get yours today. Hi, I'm Chris with Fireplace Superstore. Fall's upon us and fireplace season is here and you need a new heat and glow high efficient gas direct vent. These are ideal for your new construction project, for your remodeling project, or for removing your old wood burning fireplace and replacing it with a new heat and glow high efficient gas direct vent. Come see us today at Fireplace Superstore, 10820 Douglas in Urbandale. All right, folks, we are back. And I just want to show you the math that I've been working on to try and get the scores. Randy was kind enough to uh, point the camera over here. He can point it down at the pool now. <laughs> He's bringing it back out. Point it down at the pool, nice and slow. He's a great cameraman. So I've been doing math, and the beauty is I didn't end up having to. But uh, we do have a couple of JV kids in there. And we had two uh, Boone kids were JV, and that was Lorelei Turner and Hannah Good. So they scored for Boone six points and four points. And uh, Valley did not have any JV kids, so Boone uh, will take all of those home and put them in the bank. Uh, so for varsity, Boone was, what did I say, first third and fifth and ends up taking home 10 points and Valley was second and fourth and ends up taking home six points. So that gives us a total score uh, Valley 37, Boone 35 in the JV meet and in the varsity meet Boone has 42 and Valley has 36. So still a tight race. Boone pulled ahead a little bit after uh, diving. Uh, they were ahead by two before diving after the 50 free. It was 32 to 30 and then uh, diving took place and now it is 42 to 36. So I'm telling you, Boone, uh, one question I did not ask uh, Coach Mann was how many schools they draw on to dive like they might have kids from Ogden and Madrid who might not have a pool and so they would go to Boone to swim. Johnston I know has um, Dallas Center Grimes and Des Moines Christian and Urbandale so I would guess Boone and some of these other schools in rural Iowa who have a pool will draw kids from other schools who want to swim. A lot of kids swim in club and when they get to high school they want to be a part of the high school swim team so 
Uh, I know we had a kid go to Johnston from Urbandale to swim on the Urban or the uh, Johnston swim team. Interestingly, a thousand years ago, it was the Urbandale swim team, and Johnston came to Urbandale. But Johnston built that pool up at Summit Middle School, and they uh, Urbandale moved up to Johnston rather than form their own team and swim at that beautiful pool up at Summit Middle School. So I know that happens. I did not ask, but I'm curious uh, what kids, what schools kids are from that swim in the Boone Terridor swim team. The rodeo, I don't want to say clown, that's not very nice, but I think he implied it was rodeo clown. Like the, the, the folks who jump in the barrels and try and distract the bull while the bull riders can uh, get out of the uh, ring. Or, uh, I don't know, Matador, do they have? We'll have to Google that. Google that, let me know. Bottom line is we've got Boone 42, Valley 36. As we look at diving into the pool for the 100-yard butterfly. And we only have a varsity heat in this. We've got three Boone swimmers and three Valley swimmers. Page. Oh, oh, I'm going uh, too high there. I was looking at the divers again. So we've got uh, Annie Thiel in lane one, Jocelyn Tracy in lane two, Allison White in lane three, all swimming for West Des Moines, and all seniors tonight. For Boone, we've got Anna Goot in four, Paxton Swanson in five, and Sophia Santi in lane six. Your 100 yard varsity. Butterfly. Valley swimmers getting applause. Senior night here. So they take the blocks and I only see two Boone swimmers. I'm not sure they announced Santi, but there's nobody in lane six. So I believe it's Goot and Swanson for Boone and Goot touching first at the end of the pool. Wyatt for uh, Valley had a great push off on that far wall. Moved a bit into the lead as they take the first 50, 29 seconds each. Andy Thiel up at the top in lane one, touches third in 30 seconds, so less than a second between them. Wyatt continuing to lead as she takes the turn, 25 yards to go, cheered on by her teammates. Goot for Boone, holding on, trying to put a push in for that wall. Gonna be by a fingernail. And Wyatt touches first. 10249. Goot. 10289. Thiel. 105. Jocelyn Tracy in fourth. 10858. And Swanson finishing for Boone. 123.29. There are your times and places. Looking at the 100 yard freestyle junior varsity coming up next. We've got one heat of that. Uh, let's start up in lane one. Swimming for West Des Moines Valley, Lana McKinney. Lane two, Avery Houck. Lane three, Kayla Thurman. For Boone, swimming in lane four, Kennedy Zond, Alex Cunningham in five, and Taylor Mock in lane six. Boone at the bottom of your screen, lanes four, five, and six. Valley at the top of your screen, lanes one, two, and three. This is Dave Mabel with Central Iowa Sports Network with Randy Nielsen on camera. Just seemed like appropriate that I would do that there. 
Felt like a broadcaster. 100 yard freestyle in the water. Junior varsity. Valleys Thurman up in lane three had a great start. Of course that Lana McKinney up in lane one. We talked about that fast water earlier. That Zond for Boone in lane four. But look at the top of your screen. That's Lana McKinney. They're going to be halfway done with this race. And it looks like McKinney, then Thurman. Followed by Zond in lane four. Hauk, Valley's Hauk is uh, in fourth place. Followed by Cunningham and Mock for Boone in lanes five and six. Thurman, sophomore for Valley. But I tell you what, McKinney, she had a great turn. I bet she put a body length on Thurman on that turn. Thur Thurman's got a great stroke, but, but McKinney takes advantage of the wall to finish first in 102-1-1. Followed by Thurman, 102-6-5, and Boone Zahn comes in third in 105-9-5. Valleys Hauk in fourth, 108, and Cunningham for Boone hits the wall in 122 for fifth. And Mock coming home in 134. There are your final times for the Junior Varsity 100 yard freestyle. We are lining up for the Varsity 100 yard freestyle. We've got Grace Broderick, a senior for Valley in lane one. Lily Dolan in two. Kristen He in three. For Boone, we've got Emily Winger in four. Marin Powell in five. Julia Brooks is in lane six, swimming for Boone. Grace Broderick, a senior. Lily Dolly next to her in lane two, a freshman. Kristen He, a junior. Your varsity 100 yard freestyle. No doubt Boone's well coached. Beautiful dives by the three Boone swimmers. And it's lane three and four, touching first. That's he and Wingert. He for Valley. Wingert had a beautiful push off and moved ahead. Coming into the first, uh, first of 250s. 26.85 for that first 50. Wingert second, 27.8. Powell for Boone in third, 28.2. Will she hold on? Because up at the top, Broderick and Dolan. Want that third spot as well. They, Valley needs to score points. But I'd say it is Powell in third that's looking to move those points to Boone as Kristen He takes uh, the win for Valley. Unofficially, of course. Wingert, number two, and Broderick up at the top of your screen in three. She swam a 30.97 lap to move into third, finishing 59-2-2. Check out these times. Those are their final lap scores. And Wingert, he, Broderick. Broderick had a great uh, final 50 there to jump onto the podium and give those points to Valley. Valley with the first and, and third point spread there, and that's Meaningful. We have the Junior Varsity uh, 500 coming up. All West Des Moines swimmers here. We've got Mia Wachulis, a freshman for Valley in two. Mary Pat Dolly, a sophomore in three. Grace Padilla in four, she's a sophomore. Madison Cheng in five, junior and senior Libby Tharp in lane six, All Valley, junior varsity 500. It's 
they enter the water. I do not have uh, pre-meet times, but we should be looking between five and a half and six minutes for our winner. And they are hitting length one. Their teammates showing them the number of lengths. It's hard to keep track in a pool. Grace Padilla moving ahead. Libby Tharp chasing hard. Padilla in four, Tharp in six. Turning third is uh, Dolly. That was a 30 second lap for Padilla. See how, uh, how fast she keeps up. Coming into the first hundred. Badia still into the lead. Tharp and Dolly, shoulder to shoulder. Waichulis and Chang, shoulder to shoulder. Maybe Waichulis moving ahead a little bit up there in lane two. Looks like Tharp turning first in lane six. Maintaining second place position, followed by Dolly. Then Waichulis and Chang. Uh, 33 second lap for Badia. Almost 34, 33.98. So she took that 30 second lap to pull ahead and now she's settling in with some 33 second. The rest of the crew is 36, 37 second. So she'll continue to put time if she holds these kinds of times up. 34.65 that lap right there. Tharp down in six. Touches, she does a 38, slows down a little bit. Dolly a 38. 39 for Waichulis. And Chang turns in 42.68. Seven lengths down. Be three and a half laps. Coming up on four laps is a 200 meter mark. 200 yard mark, this is a yard pool. Badia continues to lead. 35 second lap, 214 for that 200. Tharp and Dolly. About a second apart between Tharp and Dolly. Show their splits. I know it's hard to read on the phone. We've got that scoreboard in the corner. Padilla comes home. 250 down in 250. So she swam 250 and 250. That's, uh, I don't know, maybe 545, 550 for her 500 if she can keep this pace up. That was a 35 second 50 right there. Dolly and Tharp swimming 38s. White Chulis a 40. Chang's about to uh, see Badia come by her. Chang's doing 45 seconds and Badia 36 second laps. Tharp and Dolly, Tharp in lane six at the bottom of your screen, Dolly up at the top in lane three. Tharp a little bit of an advantage there at the turn, 39 second, both 39 second. Dolly's last lap was a little faster by about two tenths of a second, so she's not giving this one away. Spadia comes home. 13 lengths down, 14 lengths down for her. That's seven laps, seven out of the 10 laps. She'll see a 15 as she makes the turn. Their teammates running the cards for uh, their swimmers. Uh, Let's see, Badia's getting the uh, upside down card. My son just told me that was, uh, well, I think they all make up their own code. So whether they swing it side to side, bounce it up and down, or hold it upside down, it means different things. It may mean you're right on pace, or you are behind pace, or you are ahead of pace. So being held upside down might mean she's ahead of pace. Might mean she's behind pace. She gets it upside down again. So I'm not sure what the code is there. I don't know what her goal time was. 17, she's got two and a half lengths to go. 
So that's 175 yards. She's at 504 now. She gets the horn, signifying one lap to go, and she hits at 514. So she's right about 550. Again, I don't have pre-meet time, so I'm not sure what she was aiming for. She's definitely going to take the victory. Uh, Dolly up top in lane three has moved ahead of of uh, Tharp. So she's turning second as she heads for home, but uh, Badia bringing it home already. And 548, 548.19 for Grace Badia, the sophomore out of Valley. It's like Dolly coming home in lane three, followed by Tharp in six. Pushing strong. Padilla swim at 33 for her last lap. Dolly at 34. That's a strong finish for her. And Tharp at 37. So Dolly takes it uh, second place, 611.76. Tharp, 618.14. Wychulis finishes fourth in 632.43. As we watch Madison Chang, the junior from West Des Moines, bring it home, her final length for this 500-yard freestyle. Being cheered on by her teammates. And she touches in 706-91. There's your results. And Looking at the final lap in the middle and their cumulative time on the right. Our varsity swimmers lining up for the 500 yard freestyle. We've got six swimmers. Senior, uh, senior, senior, I'll get that right. Senior for Valley, Zania Dixon, Allison He, and Adeline Lee, both freshmen for Valley in lanes two and three. For Boone, we've got Savannah Heldenbrand in four, Sierra Sherry in five, and Sophia Santi in six. Your varsity 500 yard freestyle. Santi uh, was a scratch in an earlier race. I want to say the 100 yard butterfly. So she may have taken that off to save some energy for this race. As Valley pulls ahead, Adeline Lee, the freshman in lane three, followed by Allison He in two. Another freshman. And senior Zanya. Dixon in lane one. Looks like Boone's moving up there. That's uh, Sophia Sherry in lane five, and right above her is uh, Savannah Hildebrand, and right below her, Sophia Santi. He and Lee moving ahead, taking ownership of this race. 28-29 was their first lap. 31 for their second lap. Dixon had done a 31 for her first lap and hits a 34 here. Or 100 and some yards down. Going to be at 150 at this turn. Lee, 32 second lap. He, 32 second lap. Lanes three and two. Dixon staying in third, 35 second lap, but uh, Hildebrand and Sherry are not giving up. They're staying right there. 
Sherry in lane five. She's got Hildebrand on her hip as they finish their seventh length. 200 yards here for Lee. She turns in 204 for her 200. Allison He turns in 206. They're still swimming 32 second laps. That is cooking. I'm not saying I'm any kind of rock star, but I swam a 50 meter free in the Olympic trials pool as fast as I possibly could. This is four years ago. But I trained for it, and I did 34 seconds, and all I did was 50. These guys are clicking off 32 seconds, still staying. They're both 32, 33 seconds. It is amazing for 500 yards. Amazing. Dixon swam at 35, and she turns in 35. Sherry, 35. Hildebrand in 35. They're all staying right there. Santi, bottom of your screen is uh, 38, 39. Here comes Lee, 32.59. She's staying right there, holding that strong swim. Allison He, 33. So Lee is not pulling ahead. She is holding her pace. The others are tiring slightly. Dixon at 36, staying in third, but she's being challenged by Sherry in lane five. Sherry and Hildebrand still staying on 36 for her, their laps. Golly, oh, another 32. He, 33. It's definitely first and second are rolling out of here. But third, fourth, and fifth are definitely in this race. Hildebrand swam at 36 for that lap. Sherry a little slower in 37. Their lead just turned to 33, so she slowed down a little bit. He right there at 33. So now he's staying right on pace, and uh, Lee in lane three. She getting it upside down? Yep, she got her 17 upside down. I think that means pick it up. I don't know what it means. It could mean pick it up. It could mean you're right on pace, or it could mean you're ahead of pace. She gets the horn with one lap to go. Lee gets the uh, red card, meaning one length to go. She brings it home. That is a strong swim. Look at that swim. She's driving through the water. You could go water skiing behind her. 31.41 for her final lap, 520.29. Great swim. As Coach Ruth says, uh, he does not taper for these meets. So these girls are tired and swimming at 520. Allison He swimming second, 526.99. As we look for third, and it is a race for third. I can't tell from here if it's Dixon or Sherry. Looks like Dixon maybe up in lane one. Boom. Sherry had a great fight. Sherry and Helderman both, 33 seconds. But Dixon takes third, five. 5.52, fourth is Sherry in 5.52.7, so half a second behind, and then Hildebrand in fifth in 5.53. Just a second behind as Santi brings it home for Boone, and she'll be touching in 6.21.47. That is your varsity 500 freestyle. So Valley takes one, two, three, Uh, all right, we've got 200-yard uh, freestyle relay. I've got a new sheet for this. We've got an additional lane. 
Uh, looks like an all Valley Heat. This is uh, one of two Junior Varsity 200 yard freestyle relay. So our first swimmer in each of the lanes. Num lane two is uh, Quincy Chapman. Lane three, Lexi Oringer, a senior. Lane four, Bella Hager. Lane five, Cheyenne Wenman. And lane six, Emma Norton, a senior for Valley. Lane six is all seniors for Valley. This is uh, the 200 yard freestyle. 200 yard freestyle relay. Lane four, moving ahead. Lane four is Bella Hager, junior. She is being followed by Lexi Oringer, the senior. It is senior night here at Mark Wagner Pool. Let's go through the second swimmers. That's Katie Gillespie swimming in lane two. Libby Mann in lane three. Melanie Ulrich in four. Lillian Sears in five. And Quinn Kelly, a senior, swimming in lane six. The all-senior relay team in lane six. Lane four. Rocking out. Let's go into the third swimmers. Lane two is Jill Huffman. Lane three is, oh, this is an all senior. Libby Mann was a senior. Um, this is an all senior heat, or race, I mean. All senior team in lane three. How's that? Eleanor Horak in lane three. Ellie Barfels in lane four. Alexa Lopez in five, and Francesca Cannon in six. And I believe they're bringing it home. That's lane four, bringing it home. Michaela Kurtz in lane two will be swimming anchor leg. Ashley Sipar, a senior, will be swimming in lane three. Kiara Cody, also a senior in lane four. Brooke Beamer in lane five, and Veronica Winterstrom a senior swimming in lane six. Got a bunch of seniors in this heat. This is the senior night 200 yard freestyle relay. Brooke Beamer entering the water for her 50 yards. Uh, we've got a winner up top there that's uh, Lane three, taking victory. Two, 18.06. Lane four, finishes in 2.18, oh wait, lane three, 2.12.80. Lane three, 2.18.06. Show you the scores, when, er, uh, scores and times when everyone's done here. Your uh, final times there, your uh, last lap split in the middle, and time and place on the right. Okay, we've got another Junior Varsity 200 yard freestyle relay. Uh, lap, or the first swimmer in lane one is Liv Wang for Valley, Mia Wachulis in lane two and Mary Pat Dolly in lane three. Boone's got Shelby Brown in lane four and Cassidy Bacon will be swimming first in lane five. As the chief referee calls them to their blocks for the first of four First of four swimmers in this 200-yard uh, freestyle relay. Why, oh, Chulis up there. Well, no, that's uh, Mary Pat Dolly in lane three, taking an early lead at the turn. Got a tight race for second, third. Shelby Brown for Boone swimming in lane four, but she may be uh, out. Why, well, Chulis and uh, Wang up in. Lanes two and one are pushing her hard. 
Looks like the Boone swimmer does touch second, or third, I mean. Uh, let's see our second swimmers. Julia Richards in lane two. Kiana Almanza in lane... Uh, okay, so Valley swimmer, second swimmer. Julia Richards in lane one. Kiana Almanza in lane two. Kayla Thurman in lane three. Anna Sondel in lane four for Boone. And Taylor Mock for Boone in lane five. Your second swimmers as we look at our third swimmers already in the water. Up there in lane one, Audrey Parneau for Valley. Liliana Lopez in lane two. Hallie Yates in lane three. Boone's got Jess Jessalie Olson in lane four. And Chloe Davidson swimming third in lane five. Your anchor swimmers as we watch Valley dive in lane three. That's Grace Badia taking off. So the final uh, anchor swimmers, Ella Schluter in lane one. Jenna Henry swimming for Valley in lane two. And Grace Padilla in lane three. Boone has Bailey Lilly in four. And Maddie Smith in lane five. They bring it home. See those Boone swimmers are ready to rock. Dancing across the deck. As Valley finishes up in 153.46. That's a great time. Sub 30s for uh, most of those legs of that relay. That's great for a JV team. Got Valley going one, two, three, lanes three, two, one. Boone bringing it home in fourth and fifth. See the varsity swimmers lining up as we look at their times. For the JV race. All right, back to my original sheet. Our varsity 200 yard freestyle relay. Our valley swimmers in lanes one, two, and three are Briley Corwin. Emily Nelson and Annie Thiel. They will be our first swimmers for Valley. In uh, lane four and five for Boone, we've got Lexi Gradaville and Paxton Swanson, our Boone swimmers, leading off this 200 yard freestyle relay. are in the water that uh, di uh, first swimmer for Boone that's uh, Lexi Gradaville had a beautiful dive hydrodynamics matter and she had a nice straight long dive pulled her ahead but the valley swimmers strong strokes that's a tight race there in lanes two and three those uh, Swimmers for Valley coming home 26.83 and 26.87, almost a, a tie. So let's look at the second swimmer for Valley in lane one, Brittany Block in lane two, Morgan Hunt in lane three, Grace Broderick. For Boone in our second swimmers, Marin Powell in lane four and Reagan Peter in lane five. And Boone takes the lead coming into this leg. Our third swimmer, Allison Rickert for Valley in lane one, Lily Dolan in lane two, Libby Tharp in lane three, Sierra Sherry in four for Boone, and Caitlin Alber for Boone in lane five. And Boone is putting the herd on Valley, but Valley is coming back strong. We've got one swimmer to go. The anchors dive into the water. It's Boone, Valley, Valley. Lane one for Valley is Katie Bonus. Lane two is Kristen He. Lane three is Allison Wyatt. For Boone, we've got Savannah Hildebrand in four and Sylvia Santi in five. And Valley pulls ahead on this leg, the anchor leg of the 200-yard freestyle. Is it going to be lane two or three? And it is lane two, bringing it home. Kristen He swimming a 25-25. 
And good heavens, Allison White at 25-26. He taking her team home in first. Let's look at those times. Valley goes one, two, Boone goes three in lane four, and Boone, uh, Valley mops up those points for fourth in lane one. Got the backstroke coming up. Got a JV heat with three Valley swimmers and one Boone swimmer. Uh, for Valley in lane one, Quincy Chapman. Lane two is Liv Wang, and lane three is Liliana Lopez. For Boone, we've got Maddie Smith swimming in lane four. They're all at the top of your screen. Lane four closest to you, closest to the bottom of the screen. Lane one at the very top of your screen. Randy Nielsen on camera, bringing you these beautiful shots of gorgeous Mark Wagner Pool here at Valley High School in West Des Moines, Iowa. Maddie Smith has a good start. That's the Boone swimmer in lane four. Liliana Lopez is having none of it though and moves on ahead by the end of this first length. Liv Wang right in there too and has a great turn moving ahead at that turn. Like I said, hydrodynamics matter and she is making good use of them with a long stroke, long, powerful stroke. Liv Wang finishing out the first of these two laps in the 100 yard backstroke, touching first, swimming a 39.49 for that first lap. Smith, well, Lopez obviously touched second in lane three, but uh, the Mr. Touch, Smith is third. And Chapman at the top of your screen, finish, swimming fourth. Liv Wang bringing it home, being cheered on by her teammates at the top of the pool. She's looking right at him after she makes that turn. She takes a look. Lopez is gonna, she's being challenged. That was not a gimme for second place there. The board's a little messed up, but it was Lopez, it was Wang, Lopez, Smith, and Chapman. Don't look at the places, but you can look at the, uh, you can look at the times. I don't know what messed up there, but the times seem to be correct. So Wang, 123, Lopez. Yeah, no, that's not right. Lopez was second, followed by Smith. I don't know why that clock kept going on uh, Lopez. Let's take a look at the varsity backstroke. Got a senior up in lane one, Zanya Dixon for Valley. Kate Van Zee in lane two, Kristen He in lane three. For Boone, we've got Liz Pertle in four, Lexi Gradaville in five, and Julia Brooks in six. Your varsity 100 yard backstroke. Boone owning this one in lane four. That's Liz Pirtle. She was strong in the IM, and that, that's why when you got a good backstroke, you got a good backstroke. Kristen He staying on her hip, and uh, Kate Van Zee following close behind. Pirtle, lane four. He in lane three. Van Zee in lane two. Down here at the bottom, Julia Brooks in lane six. Touches fourth, followed by Gradaville and Dixon. Purtle pulling away. She's going to take this one home. Kristen He swimming strong. 
Perto lifting herself out of the water, diving in for that wall, touching in 101.63. Kristen He 103.95. Kate Van Z 107.22. Julia Brooks 109.67. Gradeville 110.34. Let's show you these. And Dixon 113.22 for your varsity. 100-yard backstroke. We've got breaststroke coming up. Junior varsity. Got four swimmers, three from Valley, one from Boone. Our Valley swimmers are uh, Quinn Kelly. It's an all-senior Valley senior night. Quinn Kelly in lane one. Ashley Zipar in two. Eleanor Horak in three. Boone's Bailey Lilly will be in lane four. 100-yard breaststroke, junior varsity. Swimmers are called to their blocks. And they are off. I hope you can hear the rhythmic cheering as their heads pop out of the water. Boone Valley, lanes four, three, four, three. Tied at that turn. Looks like Boone's got a little, little advantage coming down this stretch. That's uh, Bailey Lilly. Eleanor Horak is not going away, staying right on her hip. Ashley Sipar in lane two. Be touching third, followed by Quinn. Uh, Quinn Kelly, Boone taking off. She's uh, she's saying I'm going to uh, get this thing done before all of you, and I'm going to move ahead and do it. Her teammates at the end of the pool cheering her on. They know they're there. And the louder, the better. Bailey Lilly coming home. It was a 40 second first lap for her. And she touches in uh, 12625, followed by Horak, 12925. So exactly three seconds later, followed by Zipar, 13697, as Quinn Kelly. Bringing it home for the Valley Tigers, her senior year. Your junior varsity 100 yard breaststroke. She brings it home right at two minutes. We have our varsity. Three heats left. We've got varsity 100 yard breaststroke, junior varsity 400 free relay, and our varsity 400 free relay. You're going to want to stick around for the final score because it's been tight. Okay, we've got a senior and two freshmen swimming for Valley. We've got Jocelyn Tracy in one. She's our senior. Jenna Henry in two and Adeline Lee in three. For Boone, we've got uh, Reagan Peter in four, Caitlin Alber in five, and Jessely Olson in lane six. Nice dive by Peter and Lee in the middle of the pool. Peter takes a slight advantage coming at that first wall. Hey, I couldn't tell the difference. Neck and neck. We're gonna have to wait till this touch with the board. But no, uh, I think Lee's pulled ahead up for uh, for Valley in lane three. There definitely has. Let's watch this uh, push off from the wall. Looks like she gains some time underwater. There, she puts a quarter body length underwater. Peter's not going away. 
Jenna Henry, the freshman for Valley in lane two, is hanging on for third right there. And Jocelyn Tracy in fourth at the top of your screen. The other Boone Swimmers, Caitlin Alber and Jessely Olson in lanes five and six. As Adeline Lee comes home for Valley in lane three, that's a 111.25, 111.57. And Peter touches second. 115-16. Henry in third and Tracy in fourth. Albert and Olsen in fifth and sixth. And we are looking at the 400 yard freestyle relay. We've got junior varsity heat here. As you continue to see the breaststroke varsity results there. All right, so starting out for Valley in lane one is uh, Kiana Almanza. Lane two, Avery Hauk. Lane three, Ella Schluter. For Boone in lane four, Paxton Swanson. Lane five, Chelby Brown. And in lane seven, we've got a Valley all-freshman team, Liliana Lopez. Twins, we have Liliana Lopez swimming first and Alexia Lopez anchor. And they're both freshmen. And you know, it's hard to tell when they're in the water, but I'm looking at them on deck and I'm thinking they are twins. But it is a hypo hypothesis. Maybe not even that strong. It might just be a guess. Lane seven is an exhibition. So their times will count, but not their score. So Valley has three teams in this at the top that can score and Boone two. Important in the team. Remember Boone is eight and O oh coming into this, uh, this meet here. Swimming the likes of Decora, Oskaloosa, Grinnell, even Roosevelt. I don't know if they got that Roosevelt in meet in but uh, Coach Mann said they will often swim against some of the Metro teams like Roosevelt, East, or Lincoln. And I'm, again, I'm not sure if they got one of those in before the Metro schools were not allowed to participate in sports. Looks like the Valley teams are turning first and second. Third place is tight. We've got uh, top of your screen in lane two with a clear lead. Lane one staying ahead. Looks like Boone is moving into third. Let's go through your second swimmers. Uh, Melanie Ulrich will be swimming second for Valley in lane one. Liv Wang in lane two. Audrey Parno in lane three. Boone will have Anna Sondel in lane four and Cassidy Bacon in five. And at the bottom of your screen, Lily and Sears will be swimming for Valley. Valley definitely won two, but uh, between Sandel and Ulrich, it's a tight race. Looks like Ulrich has moved into a advantage, putting Valley into the top three spots. When they finish this lap, they will be halfway through this race. And Valley having one and two and maybe the top three spots going into the back half of this race. Definitely lanes one and two ahead of Boone in lane four. Boone's not giving up though. <clears throat> in lane three's Third swimmer takes off. Let's go through uh, swimmer number three, starting in lane one. Mia Wachulis for Valley. Julia Richards in lane two. Madison Chang in lane three. 
for Boone, we're gonna see Kennedy Zond in lane four and Taylor Mock in lane five. And in lane seven, Brooke Beamer, the freshman swimming for Valley. Valley has nearly lapped our uh, lane five Boone swimmer. But Boone has moved into a solid third in this third leg and could be close to second. That was a really good push off that wall. That wall is so important. You can really make up time with a great turn and a solid push. Streamline, long, a really small front to that water as Valley comes in for the anchor leg in lane three. Looking at Bella Hager diving in right there. Let's go through our anchor swimmers starting in lane one, Megan Chang for Valley. Lane two, Lana McKinney. Lane three, Bella Hagar. Boone is gonna see Alex Cunningham in lane four. Chloe Davidson in five. And Valley will see Alexa, Alexia Lopez in lane seven. As Valley brings it to the final 50 yards of this race. Lane three, that's Bella Hagar swimming for Valley, anchor in this junior varsity 400 yard freestyle. Boone moving into a solid second place. That's Alex Cunningham pushing off for her final 50 yards. She kinda looks like she's tiring though. Look up top, that's uh, Lana McKinney for Valley. Driving into second place as Cunningham tires in this final lap. Megan Chain for Valley in uh, lane one up there looking to get this race done. Valley finishes in 4.35.9, second place in 4.35.9. So Valley, I'm trying to read the board and it's a little wonky. 4.35.9 wins it, 4.47.12 is second. 455 is third. That's Boone's uh, A team in lane four. As uh, lane five looks to come home, as does lane seven. One, two, four. We'll see the. Uh, if you looked at the scoring right now, it would mess you up because of the lapped swimmers. But it will hopefully sort out, and then I will show it to you. Yeah, I don't think that's quite correct. We didn't have a 115 lap, and we didn't have a 21 second lap. But nonetheless, Valley 435.9 wins it. 447 for Valley is second place, and Boone, 517, I believe, is correct. There we go, yep, 517 is third, 532 is fourth, 546 is seventh, and 551 is sixth. So, that is your JV, finished up. We have five teams here, three for Valley, two for Boone. Could be important points for Valley. You'll wanna stick around for the final score in this tight, tight race. Again, Boone, 8-0 going into this West Des Moines Metro League meet. Swimming first for Valley, Allison Rickert in lane one. Lily Dolan in lane two, Allison He in lane three. Boone is gonna be swimming, Liz Pirtle in lane four, and. Sierra Sherry in lane five. As Coach Mann said, he was hoping to get uh, all three relays into the state meet. So we may be looking at a state qualifying team here as he tests these girls. 
with one month left in the season. And they are off for the varsity. 400 yard freestyle. Look at that start from Pirtle in lane four for Boone. Is it Boone or Boom? That looks like a Boom. That being said, Allison He is not going away. That's a race right there, folks. Purtle He, Purtle He. Like I said, he's not giving up. They're gonna turn square at this final 25 to go. This first leg of the 400 yard freestyle relay. They are going to touch simultaneously. And Boone touches first, 56-4-4 to 56-5-8 for Valley. All right, let's go through the second swimmers in this relay. Riley Corwin in lane one for Valley. Emily Nelson in lane two. And Morgan Hunt in lane three. Boone is going to send out Anna Goot in lane four. And Lexi Gretaville in lane five. And Goot says, see you later. Holy moly, look at that stroke. That's a state. We're looking at a state swimmer right there. Lane four, look at, look at that, remember that name. Literally, you could go water skiing on one ski behind her, that is powerful. 28.85, 20, yep, 28.85, her first lap, 27. So she does like uh, 28 and 27, 55 second, 100. Let's talk about the third swimmer. Zanya Dixon in lane one for Valley, senior. Grace Broderick, a senior for Valley in lane two. Kristen He in lane three. Emily Wingert will be swimming for Boone in four. And Julia Brooks in lane five. Right now it's Boone, Valley, Valley, Boone. And Valley. Emily Winger giving up a little bit to, uh, uh, who are we looking at, Adeline Lee? Nope, there's Adeline Lee. We're on the anchor leg. Jenna Henry swimming for Valley in lane one. Kate Van Zee in lane two. Adeline Lee in lane three. Uh, Marin Powell for Boone in lane four. And Savannah Heldebrand in five. And Valley is coming back there on the feet of Boone. 50 yards to go. And she's up on her knees. It's not over, folks. She's on her hip. That is Adeline Lee finishing for Valley. And you can hear this place go nuts as they take a turn. It's a 25-yard race to the line. And it looks like Lee has moved ahead for Valley. You can hear the screaming. She moves a body length. Okay, there's another state swimmer, folks. That's Adeline Lee. Touching for Valley, 344.87. Boone finishing in 347.02. As we wait for the rest of these varsity teams to come home. That was a great race. Third place, four minutes. Lane two for Valley. 4.05 in lane five for Boone. And 4.11 for Valley, fifth place in lane one. What a great race, folks. Like, push replay on that. Skim that, uh, skim that thing back and watch that whole 400 free relay again. You're gonna wanna stick around for final score, as you recall, if you are paying attention. 
if my sound was on. Sorry about that earlier. Uh, we had a score of 37-35 Valley over Boone in the JV race after diving. And we had a score of 42-36 to 36 Boone over Valley after diving. And Valley had some 1-2-3 teams, some 1-2-3 heats. And Boone had, I mean, we're going to want to see this. Randy is getting the, uh, you might be able to see, oh no, not, not, not quite. I bet you want to see these. There we go. There's your times. Randy Nielsen, camera operator extraordinaire, and score go-getter extraordinaire. All right, sit down, y'all. We've got a final score of, let's do JV first, just to keep you in suspense. West Des Moines Valley, 106, Boone, 53. Our varsity score, Boone, 76, West Des Moines Valley, 110. So there you have it, Valley does pull it out in the second half of this uh, heat, uh, meet, and those final points for that relay were instrumental in those points. So, push replay, you're gonna see some state qualifying swimmers. We will most likely be back with swimming on October 13th for the Valley Dowling Duel. It is at Mark Wagner Pool here at Valley. Always a big rivalry. Uh, Dowling is uh, not number one. That was Waukee, but Dowling is up there in the top five uh, teams this year. Uh, if you want to see some good swimming, then I know that we will also be at the state meet on November uh, 17th, I believe. Checking out Valley's, uh, nope, November 14th. So Valley's got uh, Johnston next week. And then Dowling the following Tuesday, followed by the conference meet at Johnston on October 22nd. And I believe October 20th is the diving portion of that where they will get to do 11 dives that uh, they need for uh, state qualification. The district swim and dive is November 5th and 7th. And then the state swim and dive is November 13th and 14th. And we'll be bringing you the swim meet from Marshalltown YMCA on November 14th. So, for myself, Dave Mabel, Randy Nielsen on camera, wirecast, and score getting, and Peter Tarpey running the whole show. This is Dave Mabel for Central Iowa Sports Network, signing off and looking for you soon. <laughs>